First off, <clears throat> I want to start by saying um, Shalom. Um, uh, one second. <clears throat> and uh, all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rukar Kadash. Double honesty, a pastor that great moonstone. Um, salutes to all the brothers out there teaching this word in sincerity and truth. Now, <clears throat> Uh, I'm going to go into this lesson here, and this lesson is about, uh, uh, it's inspired by the picture that you see on the screen. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into a good hand of scriptures and just cover this stuff, man, because here it is, we're living in a world where uh, we're just learning now about um, wisdom and knowledge and understanding. You know, we've just, we're dealing with these curses. You know, Esau, you know, pretty much the Lord put us, using Esau put us on a low level, you know, where we was acting fucking like complete degenerates out here, man. No wisdom and, and uh, you know, men acting effeminate, you know, because we pretty much we grow up like that, you know what I mean? You know, if you're a Jake, there's a certain way you grow up, man. I know, I know, <laughs> I know you, you know, you brothers know that, man. If you're, if you're a Jake, man, there's just, you pretty much grow up, you know, in the hood, if you will. Um, whatever that, whatever the hood is, whatever the hood is to you, and you pretty much, um, you know, you grow up, you know, you know, for, with, with your mama, you know what I mean, with ma moms and all that. So, you know, you know, the thing is, is that the Lord is like, is taking us, is making us become men. And then um, taking us away from that emotional state, man. You know, putting us up on a level, you know, and, and, and giving us the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Now, I'm, I'm in a certain spot in my house because um, pretty much in this house, man, you know, <laughs> one thing I noticed about Esau is that um, if depending on the area you're at, you get shit fucking reception. Now, if you're in one of them nice, Edom, if you're in one of them nice areas where the Edomites are at, the internet connection is like just twenty times better, man. You know what I mean? So that's one thing I noticed. But um, so I'm gonna try and see how this works in the spirit. Lord willing, it runs smooth. Lord willing, man. Let me see if up here. Yeah, it's always saying it's all right, but you know, Lord willing, it runs smooth. Um, we'll see. But yeah, so. The, the Rothschilds, man, the Rothschilds family here, these are the, these are the, the kings of the earth at the moment. A lot of people might not know that, but that's why that's why we're here, man. We're here to teach that and show that. We're here to name and shame. Just like I would name and shame uh, Alexander the Greek, you know, and people like that. So, that's the rule right there. So, um, that's what that is, man. So give me a second. So that's what that is. Now let me um, try and search something out here because I think that well, I'm trying to see if this is not messing about. So anyway, at the, at, so these dudes you see on the screen, man, these are the dudes behind all these. Matter of fact, I'm going to start on that scripture because I've got a few scriptures I'm going to bring out. I'm just going to just build it up. I'm going to see if this... You know, see what happens here. So that's one of the scriptures I'm going to bring out later. But let me just uh, go with this uh, uh, scripture, basic scripture. Um, this is the book of Job <clears throat> 9.24. The, 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 so this is Job 9.24, right? And this is what, this is a scripture we use just to prove what's going on out here. Because <laughs> the Bible's got everything in it, bro. You know, and that's what we're coming to understand. That's why in slavery, they wouldn't. Why would they not make you read the book? That made because they knew that they knew what it was. They knew the truth was in that book, man. It'd be worse if you read. You could read. You would have a penalty for reading the book, but I think reading the Bible was death. And this is what we're finding out through the spirit of the Lord, man. He saw don't want you to know so called white man. He, he don't want you to know shit. He he loves ignorant Negroes. Okay. 
So anyway, Job 9.24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges of rough. If not, where and who is he? So if not, if these dudes ain't the wicked that the scriptures are speaking of, then who is? And like I said, man, you got people that are trying to, you know, um, you know, put past the buck. Man, these are the dudes, man, the Rothschilds, Rockefellers, man. Okay. And these dudes own the bank it, banking, the money system. And they're the ones calling the shots behind the scenes. And a lot of people don't know that, man. Like, you got a lot of people that get up into, might get, might even be a prime minister, man. Or they might be in government or in a, working in a bank. And they don't know who the hell's calling the shots. So through the spirit of the Lord, through the truth, man, you know, the Bible says what they shall call their tongues to fall upon themselves. So, you know, we through the spirit, we know who the hell, who, who's called. And you know, the Lord did that. You know, matter of fact, let me get that in the scriptures, man. The Lord did that, man. The Lord's the reason why we know this. The heavenly father, man. Because like I said, before you knew this truth, you, you was probably, you grew up, you probably grew up on the, in the hood. You know, whatever you grew up in a hood, you grew up with your, with mama, with moms and all that, right? And um, you know, you was a blunt smoking cat. <laughs> you know, one of them zubs and all that, and um, you know, just talking shit, eating chips all day. You know, potato chips and fish and chips. Anyway. He says, Amos 3 and 7, Surely the Lord power will do nothing, but he reveals his secret unto his servants, the prophets. So, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai, man. Right? He, he's given us the understanding of what's going on on this planet. And what's going on on this planet? You got a bunch of satanic dudes ruling the earth, man. And then it says it covers the face of the judges, because he's got you sitting there, Thinking that you're black, you think you know, <laughs> you want a record deal from these dudes, man. And it's not until these celebrities fucking sell out, all of a sudden that that's when it's like that's when here it is they're sold out, and then it's, they, then they start complaining about the world. I mean that that's funny to me because here it is you took a deal, and then like Michael Jackson for example, that dude MJ. Look what, look what MJ did, man. MJ pretty much, you know, turned around and, um, you know, basically was coming up against the system and society, man, because he had that whole thing with Sony and them trying to own, you know, X, Y, Z. You see, when, when anytime Jake tries to get up in this world, he soon realises that this world is not, is given into the hands of the wicked, which you should know that anyway. But you really start to see the sinisterness of who these guys are, man. Okay, and 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 I say shout out to all the brothers in there, man. Now, what I was what I want to go into my scriptures now. Um, now in this picture, the reason why I'm doing this video, and I've warmed it up a bit now. You've got, you see, uh, Evelyn Rothschild, um, sorry, David the Rothschilds, with a whole stack of lemons and limes behind him. Well, I should say limes and oranges. Now, when you check it out. Now, let me just ask you this. Why in the hell has he got a whole bunch of limes and oranges? Well, the obvious first reason, the obvious thing is because they know about the herbs. Okay? They know about the herbs. Okay? He ain't sitting up there eating um, um bowls of cereal and, you know, and, you know, uh, uh donuts and all that, you know? Now, there's an article I'm going to read, and it's, it says that when he's on these boat trips, he's fishing. Now this picture that I, I happened to fi find this picture and um, I saved it a, about a year ago or something like that. And I, the spirit, I just thought, you know what, let me just do something on this because I was watching a few videos on the apostles and, you know, sometimes things pop up at you, man. So let me go to my first scripture, man. Let me get my, I've written down a few scriptures to all put this in order. I'm going to start with, um, matter of fact, I'm going to start with the, in the Apocrypha. I'm kind of doing it backwards, but you know what, maybe it's a spirit. Let me start with, um, in the Apocrypha. Uh, <clears throat> I 
And by the way, when you go in this app, it's got Enoch, Josh, and Jubilee. That those books are bullshit. Okay, I'm gonna get the other app where that's not on there because one of the Archeon told me there's an app that those three bullshit ass books ain't on there, man. But they recently put that shit in there. So anyway, let's let's go to Ecclesiastes 38, verse four. Right, so uh, let me start from three. The skill of the physician shall lift up his head, and in the sight of great men he shall be in admira admiration. The Lord hath created medicines out of the earth, and he that is wise would not abhor them. Now, in this society, what what's the first thing that Jake going do, gonna do when he gets ill? <laughs> He's running to the doctors. You know, his diet's out of whack. His mind's out of whack, he's smoking, but the first thing he's getting ill, he's running to the doctors. Don't they say there's a saying called what prevention is better than cure, right? So it, you can't you can't be doing negative things and expect to get blessed from doing negative things. And I'm talking about in the sense of food, man. So I'll read it again. The Lord have created medicines out of the earth. So here's another saying: you are what you eat. So here it is, man. Even when you're growing up in school and all this, man, they tell you. I don't know what they tell, they tell you in America, but they tell you to get your five a day, your veg and all that, which they don't really go in depth. They don't really go in depth. But when you go to your local, let's talk about a corner shop. Your, cor your local corner shop, that's what we call them over here, your little corner shop. Not your mall, but them little corner stores. Man, when you go in them stores, man, it's crisps and chocolates and, and everything's just processed bullshit in there. Now, if you're sitting there playing video games, smoking weed and eating fucking cookies all day, bro, that's not good for your body, man. And look, and, and the reason why I got this picture up, let me go back to this image. The reason why I'm going into it is because evidently you can see that these elites know this. <laughs> you know, look how much lemons he's got behind him, man. It's not a whole stack of um, uh, Twinkies and shit. <laughs> you know? It's it's not a whole it's not a whole bunch of fucking Twinkies behind the keys, eh? Is it? It's lemons and, and and I think that's oranges. Now I got um I got a, I got a page about the health benefits of lemons. I'm gonna, I'm gonna read into it, but like I said, these devils know what's going on, man. These devils know what's going on. So what's coming in this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding? And look, first of all, we fucked up, man. We we gotta eat what we gotta eat. There's GMOs. But, but you know what, man? You, you, you know, you, you try your best, you know? Like, for example, that's why there's a, a dietary law. You know, you don't eat porks. You don't eat shrimps. And all that, etc., etc., man. You know, so that's just part of it. All right? So, <clears throat> so this, these devils know what's going on. So, you know what? What I might do, I might show you something. I'm going to... I don't want to go. These are my personal images, so let me just be careful with what I'm doing here. This is nothing. It's just it's just pictures of you know the truth, really, gadites and whatever. But still, whatever, man. So let me um uh, get get this article out, and I'm gonna show you something now. No, I'm on this website. It's called thegreenprofit.com. <laughs> Cause this this individual is is walk is a blasphemer, man. David the Rothschilds. He's being called the plastic Jesus. He's being called the green prophet. And I mean, come on, man. But anyway, let's let's go in and then I'm going to jump to my next scripture, which would be uh, Psalms, the 73rd chapter. I'll probably read into that. So I've got a few scriptures on the list. So here is the green prophet. Now, I'm not going to read all of this, but there's a part of this that stuck out. Uh, give me a second, Akiam. Um, right, so I'm going to start from here. Um, it says the con the Contiki crew saw caught and ate tuna daily, and couldn't enter the water for fear of sharks. This is this is David speaking. Our expedition was very different. We caught three fish during the entire three months that were at sea, and only saw a handful of whales, sharks, and dolphins. So. Pretty much, he was just straight up eating um, healthy fish. And what do you expect, man? How What do you expect? These devils, man, they've polluted the whole earth. 
You know, he's walking around talking about the earth polluted while he's eating good. <laughs> Are you seeing the hypocrisy? That's my main point. Look at these images. He's got, he's got the lemons up there, which is very good for your body. Right? He's there sitting up there polluting the earth while they're... You think they're eating GMOs, bruv? They're not eating GMOs, man. And even in this even in this article, it comes down and tells you that he's got that he's into he's into farming. So here it is, he's into farming. But you so-called Negroes and tribes, he is eating Twinkie bars and you know, all this you, you ain't got a healthy diet or a healthy lifestyle, man. Which the Bible through the spirit of the Lord, has brought us back into that. Because we're practicing and rehearsing the righteous acts. In the kingdom, we're gonna have, eat whole foods, man. Holistic diet, a whole diet, man. Proper good food, not GMOs. But these devils are going to pay for that. Because you might get some veg from the store and it might fucking be uh, GMOs any damn way, man. So you see, so they're eating, <laughs> you know, they're eating them or, or eating whole stuff. Okay. Let's, let's go into it. Matter of fact, let me, give me a second. Give me a second. <clears throat> uh, give me a second. Let me try and find this other part now, where he talks about um, where this rough Charles talks about farming. <clears throat> hey, Khan, that was one of the scriptures I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, bring out. So that's the spirit, man. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna hit. Psalms right quick, see, I, I can't find this part, farming part right now. Uh, you should see it somewhere. Um, give me a second. Oh, I found it. Right, so it says, it's, this is what he's talking, this is him now. He says, I've always been fascinated first and foremost by health and the concept that you are what you eat. So even the devil's telling you, man. So that so that's why these dudes are serpent tongues. Because they're telling you you are what you eat, but then they've got the nerve to be polluting uh, your whole basham, your whole shah's green earth. That's wickedness, man. That's not right. That's not right in, in the sight of the Lord, man. That's why they're going to pay, and the judgment of them is going to come straight from on high. Because you can't do that, man. They've got the power to have everybody eating whole, okay? But they're not because of the devil, right? So it says, I've always been fascinated, first and foremost, by health and the concept that you are what you eat. And you are what you breathe. <laughs> you see, you're hearing the nerve of this devil, man. And, you know, it's funny because, you know, Esau, he's talking about what you breathe. Now, we, we know there's something called what chemtrails, man. And what are them chemtrails? Them chemtrails, are, they've got harsh metals and stuff in it that uh, that pollute you. And that's, that's that information's out there. You just type in chemtrails, you get... All, you get News reports, mainstream news reports, the celebrities, even Prince, even Prince, you know, you know, um, <laughs> you know, which came, which was a uh, Mozart in the reincarnation. Even he mentioned that man. Prince mentioned about the um, chemtrails, and pretty much that Prince dude was a bit. He got he kind of got into the scriptures. That he's he pretty much like you know grew up in the scriptures. He sold out and all that, but he pretty much towards the end of his career was living private, you know. And, you know, he kind of became, you know, what they call a conspiracy theorist, if you will, man. So I think he, I don't know, he, went, he was on one of them TV shows later on. I mean, there was one interview with him and with Arsenio Hall, and there was another one. And he mentioned the chemtrails. So that information's out there. So here's the Rothschilds telling you, oh, yeah, it's, it's good to be, you are what you breathe. But he's the one that's putting the chemtrails in the air, man. Okay, and another thing he does is deforestations. Your environment is not supposed to have so much concrete around. If if you need the, if the trees are good for the breathing, then you should have loads of trees around you. Yeah? Who's to blame for that? Esau. So it says, let me carry on. It says, uh, and you are what you breathe, which took me down the path of organics and understanding the environment that way. <laughs> like he doesn't know. Like he doesn't flipping know. It says, as I became more involved in organic farming, I naturally became more curious about the environment as a whole and in the green space surrounding us. So, like I said, here this man, uh, <laughs> David Rothschilds, David the Rothschilds himself, is acting like Captain uh, Saviour of the planet Earth, which the man is not, man. And, and then, you know what, let me go into these scriptures. Because his dad, and I, 
I ain't got a picture of that, but his father, Evelyn, opened up this um, organic chocolate shop in the middle of London somewhere. And, um, you know, pretty much it's going to be all top Edomites that go into that shit, you know. So anyway, let me let me go into this scripture here, man. So this is the book of uh, Psalms. The 73rd uh, chapter. I'll just read into it. So, so, so like I said, the Lord is putting us putting us up, up on a level, man. Okay, no, you know, we, you know, before we got this knowledge, man, you, you're just a stupid ass Negro, man, walking around talking shit, you know, eating shit. I, I remember when when I was when I was up in the states, man, with the, you know, visited the apostles, man, um, you know, pretty much. I mean, I've been to America a few times, man, but you know, one thing I notice when I'm out there and you go to certain eat out spots is that there's like you might go to like um, like you go to these malls or these shop these these like a mall and it might have a little eating part where you can take like like hot food and most of the stuff was fucking abominations man the prawn soups and mac 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 um they had like a mac and cheese but mo all the other ones that was mac and um, shrimps and and all this bullshit you know, and it was all these jakes in there eating it that were all over effing weight, man. You know, eating all them abominations. So that's what's going on on the planet right now. So uh, this is um, <clears throat> uh, Psalms 73. I'll start from one. It says, truly, uh, the most high is good to Israel, even to such as are of a clean heart. But as for me, my feet were almost gone, my steps well nigh slipped for i was envious at the foolish when i saw the prosperity of the wicked and that's what we're seeing now man we're seeing who who's who's in power who's ruling on the earth and living good the rothschilds rockefellers man i mean these devils have got um chates castles and mansions you know all over the world you know pretty much in different countries of europe they've got they've got loads in england they've got what is a manner but that's only one they've got like a whole list of them if you pull it in in like remote hidden parts places where you go there as a jake man <laughs> you, you see england's racist man they don't want to tell you that because the, you know america's got more of the, the 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 eyes on it but england man you go around certain places man you're gonna know about it man that whole town's gonna stop and it's gonna be like a scene from that movie in um the wicker man <laughs> they might, you know, and that, that film, The Wicker Man, was uh, pretty much based in England, man. I don't know if they filmed it over there, if I'm not mistaken. The, f the early one. Okay, because I know they did a remake, you know. But that's what these devils do. There's a lot of witches in these remote parts of towns too, man. So it says, for there are no bands in their death, but their strength is firm. So the way, when you look at these devils now, it just looks like everything's just going good for them. You know, it just everything's just going good for them. You know, they're living good. You know, <laughs> which the Lord's turning that upside down on them now. You know, but when any any time you go and you think about Jake, where is Jake? Okay, and it don't it ain't just America, man. Anywhere you go, Jake are at the bottom. Whether it be in the Americas, like the in Brazil, they're in the favelas, Mexico, they you know they ain't got no water down there. Um, Europe. You know, they're in them council flats, you know, in small little council flats, you know, have to be cleaners and shit and, you know, etc., etc. Right? It says, but there are no bands in their death, but their strength is firm. Uh, they are not in trouble as other men, neither are they plagued like other men. Yeah, because if you look at the state of Jake, you know, Jake pretty much have got the curses on them. They're shooting each other in the ghettos there. They, they got all kind of illnesses arthritis and all this and all this they're eating crap food cancers so the <laughs> the curses is on them man but then when you look at these damn devils man this dude's going around in a, in a, in a private boat you know fishing eating the, the herbs the lemons and you know everything's good but that's because them demons the way the lord set up the heavenly father's got got him protected right now but the lord's gonna take that hedge off him and take away that power that he's got man that's that's exactly what's gonna happen Okay, so let me um, let me carry on. Right, it says, 
Therefore, pride can pass them about as a chain. Violence cover them as a as a gar garment. And you can't. Who's more prouder than Esau on the planet, bro? You know, you, you should, that's what I want to know, man. Who the hell? Who's more prouder than him? You know what I mean? I mean, you just know when you see a devil man down the street, man. He's already he's already think. Yep, I'm 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 just. He knows he's got that. The, what they call the white privilege. And he knows that you're just nothing but a fucking nigga, man. <laughs> you know? Pretty much that's how he looks at you. So, you know, all that's going to change, man. I see you brothers putting some... Hey, slow on to all the brothers in here and the, and the, and the sisters as well. And uh, I see you brothers putting some scriptures up, man. I'll probably try and get to them in a the, in the second. I'm just going to try and run through what I've got on this list. Um, you know, but um, it says... It says, therefore, pride can pass them about as a chain. Violence covereth them as a garment. And they're violent, man. That's why you got the American army spread out throughout the whole earth. You know, in the kingdom, man, it tells you that there's going to be peace. You know, and, you know, they shall beat their uh, uh, weapons into plowshares. That's in, uh, I think, Isaiah, um, probably the third or second chapter. So that proves that, you know, the Esau's the true warmonger, man. You know, he's built all these missiles. Why would you build nuclear, nuclear missiles, man? That's insane. You know, the technology to, like, pretty much destroy the earth. That's that's someone that's crazy. Okay. It says, their eyes stand out with fatness. They have more than their heart could wish. And when you look at these dudes' mansions and you look at these... I mean, I'm telling you, they got, they got... They own most of the land. Like, for example, when you're in England here, um, you, on a, you get on a train, any train, and you go, like, from one part of England to the other... All you're seeing is green private land. It's all private land owned by who the government, which really goes back to the Rothschilds. You can't you you can't do anything on that land, man. And they distribute to different Edomites, different farmers. The farmers are all private too. So Esau's calling the shots out here, man. Now you got that uh this one Rothschilds, she lives out there in France and you know she she's got wine wines, you got Rothschilds wine, so they got the best vineyards and stuff like that. You know, and she's always doing these wine showcases, showing off her wine. So, they've even got, like, um, a street named after them in Israel. They've got uh, a butterfly named after them. So, they 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 got everything in that their hearts could desire, man. It says, their eyes stand out with fatness. They have more than heart could wish. They are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. They speak loftily. And 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 the Lord knows, man. You hold from your shy by Kadash. That we're being oppressed. And that, that's why I said, that's why you had Michael Jackson and Prince. You had Michael Jackson. Um, he made that, that Earth song, man. And that's a badass song, man. That's what, hey, that, that song that he's holding the trees and all that. He goes, why do we stand? That's, that's a track. And, you know, he's lamenting and then pretty much in the track, you, you know, you got, uh, you had like Asherites in there and, you know, you know, at the end, there was, what happened, there was more, you know, everything, there was trees and, you know, the earth started flourishing. But in the video, you've seen elephants dying and, and all that. There was this article that just come out and, well, something that happened where about 150 whales just beached up. And then you got birds just dropping out of the sky, man. You got people that can't sleep. You might have 5G towers. There's a lot of 5G towers around in America and, you know, pretty much them 5G towers... You know, you can't fucking sleep, man. It gives you rashes. You're rolling around. That's why sometimes at night time, you know, you, you just, you can't even sleep in peace. You got a headache, you know. That's because a lot of that five, them 5G towers and stuff, man. So, you know, so that's what's going on. Um, they set their mouths against the heavens <laughs> and their tongue walking through the earth, man. And he, pretty much these dudes are against the Heavenly Father, man. That's why that whole Freemason, the whole Freemason thing, you know, when you go into Albert Pike and all that, you know, they pretty much show you how he basically admits in that book that they're trying to take out the most high, man. <laughs> you know, when I checked that book out a few years back, I couldn't believe what the hell I was reading. He actually, and this is, and he was what, um, uh, uh, 33rd degree Mason, Scottish Rite. You know, he's one of the, one of those Masons that they honor. And he pretty much said that um, they're actually trying to take out your whole bar Shemiel Shai, man, in the book. So this shows you how what kind of people we're dealing with here. And all you and you know all the people that are asleep in this world, 
you stay asleep, man, because, you know, you're being manipulated without even knowing it. There's so much going on right now as we speak. So much different politics going on. you you got this Russia and thing, Putin, Trump. There's a lot going on with that. There's a lot going on with this British politics and this Brexit, where the cabinet pretty much come up against Theresa May. There's a lot going on in the earth. There's wars happening right now as we speak. There's some protests in France. There's so much going on. So for anybody that's asleep in a time like this, I mean, you're out of your skull, man. Okay? It says, they set their mouth against the heavens and their tongue will walk through the earth. And they've got something called, what, the Star Wars program? Where pretty much them satellites that they got out of space, uh, they're, they're monitoring the heavens, man. And they've got so much chariot sighting footage, footage that you'd be surprised if you've seen it, man. They've got it. But they ain't going to come out and tell you that now. The Lord's making it come out because <laughs> it's getting so overwhelming that, you know, we all seen on CNN. CNN, they're admitting, the government was admitting that they've been watching these UFOs from way back and they just come out of it in the public media. Why? Because you have about Shami Yahweh is getting ready to make his return. People are putting up so much chariot videos on the net. Alternative medias, they're coming in, you know, the uh, chariots are in the sky in broad day. You can't deny it. Okay. Um, therefore, his people return hither, and uh, and waters of a full cup are wrung out to them. And they say, How doeth God know? And there is no knowledge in the Most High. Behold, these are the ungodly who prosper in the world. They increase in riches. And like usually, I mean, like I said, there's a, there's another picture uh, that I think I used in the last show that showed um, Evelyn Rothschilds. Uh, holding a whole bunch of gold. So they own the gold, man. You know? And like... Uh, I see the brothers are saying on the comment boards. That's right. Um, that, that That is our gold, man. We're going to get it all back. Because we was decked out, man. I mean, we was decked out. I mean, come on, man. Anytime, like, I was watching them... I was, anytime you watch some rappers or boxing... Like, you got this dude, Errol Spence. Right? And pretty much, that dude... You know, a lot of them, they wear them um, them gold chains, man, doubled up, you know. Even that that little punk 6 9 dude that got arrested, you know, you know, iced out with jewels. You know, that's Jake, man. Jake are into that sort of stuff. Here it is, these devils have got all that, but they're wearing business suits, <laughs> you know. We ain't, in the kingdom, we ain't going to be like that, man. We're going to have ice, you know, and, you know, jewels and chains, and we're going to be beautified. That's the spirit of Jake here. He's a dude on a low level. He got a rap deal and the dude's wearing fat gold chains around his neck, man. You know? So that just shows you the spirit of Jake. You know, it, it, all these rappers, man. It, one of the main things these rappers do, which, you know, they're going off and whatever, but I always see them with these, these this ice and this gold around their neck. And they ain't even... <laughs> they're not even... Um, they've received their consolation on this side, but they ain't really... They ain't the elites, man. You know? So, Jake's got a royal spirit, man. Okay? So, all that, we're going to get all that. There's just, if you go back, it tells you we spoiled the Egyptians, man. So, we're going to spoil the modern Egyptians, which is um, Esau, either. And that's, um, we're going to, I'm going to get them scriptures, man. Matter of fact, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to jump to that scripture now. I'm going to go to James 5 and 1. That was on my list. And you know what? I'll just go into it now since the spirit's permitting then I'm going to go into certain else. Um, uh, James 5 and 1. It says, Go to now, you rich men. Uh, uh, that's right. Yahweh Shai is going to be dripping, man. Yahweh Shai is going to have the best glory of, out of all. You know? Yahweh Shai is going to get the best glory out of all, men. You know? We're, we're going to be joint heirs. But Yahweh Shai is going to really be on that, that top level, man. That's why it tells you in the Apocrypha that there was a man taller than taller than the rest of us. And you know, we in the kingdom, we're gonna be tall, man. We're gonna be like when you watch that movie, um uh uh what the hell is the name of that movie, man? Avatar, man. We're gonna be we're gonna be tall like that. We're gonna be tall. Okay. James 5 and 1. Go to now, you rich men, weep and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you. Uh your riches are corrupted. And your garments are moth eaten. So all that all this all this gold and these jewels that these rough have gotten, all of that, man. You know, these dudes, man, 
They're gonna lose all that, <laughs> you know. They're gonna lose all that, man. So the, you know, the, the Lord can translate riches to whoever he wants. Now it's their time. The other na the Egyptians at one point had riches, the Persians at one point had riches. So just because you got the riches don't mean that you're blessed of the most high, man. Okay? And they don't they're so proud that they don't know that, man. They don't fucking know. They don't fucking know what's coming to them. They they got a lot to worry about. They got worried them spaceships coming. That and you know, <laughs> it's always funny that when you hear about People getting abducted, it's always fucking Edomites, man. It's always crackers. They're the ones who you always hear about of someone getting abducted, man. <laughs> okay, so they, they got curses coming to them, right? So, uh, uh, go to now, you rich men, weep and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you. Your riches are corrupted and your garments moth eaten, okay? Uh, your gold and silver is cankered and the rusted, rust of them shall be a witness against you. And shall eat your flesh as it were fire. Okay, you have heaped treasures together for the last days. And you had that movie, um, oh, what the hell was that movie, man? Um, oh, there was this movie and it had a city in the sky. And it was a white woman kind of ruling. And it was like, um, basically, a Rothschild's retreat. And um, pretty much, you know, that's what they're doing with their riches, man. They've got it in their vaults. They've got it, you know, hidden. They've got it stored. Because they believe that they're going to be on top after this. World War Three and uh, and set up this new world order, which is not going to happen. You know, <laughs> the only thing that's going to happen after them nukes are shot is they're going to be grabbed up, man. Like that scene in X Men where Magneto grabbed them out from the earth. Okay, yeah, for what, man? That was a movie, man. For what, sis? That was a movie in what? Elysium, man. Exactly. Okay. Um, oh yeah, and King Judas Maccabees. Um, it's, uh, the Queen of England got Judah and Benjamin wealth when we ruled. That's right, man. Like the call, um, the, they got the crown jewels. They got something called the crown jewels, and those crown jewels. They, that's that's that was us, man. That was Jake stuff. Now they got the, the Elizabeth and them. The, well, the, the Edomite Elizabeth, because Queen Elizabeth in the Middle Ages was so called black woman, man. We got proof on that. I got a coin on that, and it's a straight up black woman on there, but um. You know, pretty much, um, they got their crown jewels, they got the castles, and they got all that gold and the scepters and the robes and the and the chains that they wore. Man, they they stole that for real from Judah Benjamin, man. When we was ruling in the, in, the, in the dark ages, man, point blank period, man. And they don't even wear it. That just shows you what kind of heathens they are, man. <laughs> they don't even wear. They don't even wear it. What kind of a heathen is that? That proves that it was Jake ruling. They were dripped. Okay, you know you <laughs> that's the new word, the the drip. They were shining or whatever you wanna whatever you word you wanna use, they were dripped out, man, they were shining. You know? They they were they were the iced out, man. But these devils, they they got all the jewels and they don't even wear the jewels, man. So that proves they weren't the people, that proves that without a shadow of a doubt, man. Okay. <clears throat> Your gold and silver is cankered. And the rust of them shall be a witness against you and shall eat your flesh as it were fire. You have heaped treasures together for the last days. Behold, the hire of the labor, laborers who have reaped down your fields, which is of you, kept back by fraud, crieth. And the cries of them have uh, have reaped are entered into the ears of the Lord of Sabaoth. Now, <laughs> I remember General Johannes, you know, said that word Sabaoth means the Lord of the Sabbath. And they don't mean that when you go into that word, it means the Lord of the armies. Which proves the Lord's a man of war, man. You know, when you when you check out the Heavenly Father in the spirit world, man, you know, the hev the Heavenly Father, man, he's got warriors, man. You know? The Lord and his armies, the Lord's got a lot of them angels, man, and warriors, man. Uh, like one of the angels, one of the chief angels is Michael, Mayaka Allah, man, which means who is like God, who is like the who's like the most high, pretty much. That's how much power. A might that a lot of these angels have. So the Lord ain't playing no fucking games, man. <laughs> I just gotta say it like that, man. Okay. Okay. So the Lord's getting ready to take these 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 devils out, man. And that that's what another scripture I got on um, on the list. Um, it says, "Ye have lived in pleasure on the earth and been wanton." So that, this is why you need the spirit of the Lord to 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 make you understand. Who the, the, the scriptures is talking about, man? You gotta, you gotta be in the spirit. You gotta understand who the hell 
this is talking about. That's why anyone saying that Esau and so-called white man's Japheth, they don't understand this Bible, man. You know, they don't really understand that this is a mystery. The book, the Bible's a mystery. And it's a pot. And when you and when the spirit's dealing with you, you can see it clear as day. Who the hell does this fit, man? This fits these these devils that, that are on the screen right now, man. Rothschilds, Rockefellers, that's who this fits. Okay? Living nice, fishing, farming, eating lemons and all that. Okay? And and you know what, man? Let me get this article on the lemons I said I was gonna do. Because why has he got all them lemons behind him, man? Because they know, they know about. How are you supposed to eat, man? Uh, right. <clears throat> Let me click on one of these. <clears throat> Fifteen benefits of drinking lemon water. Lemon water in morning. In morning. In morning, empty stomach. Fifteen benefits of drinking lemon water in morning. Water in morning. I, I don't know if that even even sounds. Fucking right, man. Oh, this is Satan, man. Right. So, it says, Lemon is one of the most popular and versatile citrus fruits. Its popularity is owed to its refreshing flavour and scent, uh, making it a popular choice for flavouring many recipes and perfumes. Lemon is widely used in all sorts of drinks from teas and cocktails to juices. Along with its obvious use as a flavour, lemon, since long, has been used for its medic... medic medicinal value and i've read the scripture already that says that the lord's gonna bring um uh, uh medicines out of the earth you know uh, green kale you know different you can eat different saps you know different barks you can drink from different trees and you know you know garlic and you know all that's good for you man it is a rich source of vit vitamin c lemon possesses immense health benefits ranging from its antibacterial and antiviral properties uh, to to its immune boosting abilities and obviously these devils know that man that's why he's got all them them lemons behind him man you know it says one of the most ways to reap the health benefits of lemon is by juicing it lemon juice acts as a digestive and detoxifying agent and helps in cleaning the liver leading to better digestive health okay so let me go down let me just see what what they got man yeah, number one, as a rich source of vitamin C, lemon juice protects the body from immune system deficiencies. Uh, lemon juice, drinking lemon juice with warm water every morning helps in maintaining the pH balance of your body. You know, you need a, you need the right balance, man. You know, you don't want it to be too acidic or nothing like that. You know, when you eat all that junk, man, that's what it gets, you know. It says, with its powerful antibacterial properties, lemon juice helps fight infections so you got a whole bunch of things that it does down here man okay the whole a whole lot of things right so that's so all that's why the lord set them the, the, the earth up man so you ain't supposed to cut down trees and all that sort of stuff man which like what these devils do but like i said on this boat you ain't got no twinkies on there bro you know he's got herbs so i i when i, I seen this i've had this picture man i said you know what? i got a i got a um Pretty much, the spirit. I said, you know what? Let me just do something on this, man. Just this pictures alone speak speak words, man, and volumes. So these these devils, you know, they know what's going on. They know what's going on. That's why he, this dude in the article said, yeah, he's into farming and etc. etc. Man, he said, and there's another video where he says he's got his own farm. Okay, but here it is. They're polluting the earth. You know, while they live, well, while they're living good. Okay, let me go back to uh, the scriptures, man. Um. <clears throat> uh, right, it says, uh, James 5 and then uh, 5. You have lived in pleasure on the earth and been wanton. You have nourished your hearts as in the day of slaughter. And they slaughtered, man, the British Empire, America. They've been slaughtering people, man. You know, and, and you know, they got to pay for that. They got to pay for that, man. Dropping bombs and all this. Here it is, everyone's looking up to Esau. He's so great. He's such a great man. And all this. And the, and, and the man's just dropping bombs on people worldwide, man. A lot of you people are kissing his ass. That's what, this, man, that's what the scripture says, man. 
to, you know, basically we're supposed to equip to roll mentality, man. Apostle Tar always says that. Okay? Apostle Tar always says that, man. All right? It says, um, you've condemned and killed the just. He doeth not resist you. Uh, be be patient, there, therefore, brethren, unto the coming of the Lord, Yahweh Shai. Behold, the husbandman waiteth for the precious fruit of the earth and of long patience for it until he received the early and latter rain. Be also patient, establish your hearts for the coming of the Lord, Jorah nigh. And that's why we're in this truth, man. You know, this truth is, is, is about patience and, and, and waiting for, you know, righteousness to come on the earth. You know, it starts with hearing the word. You realize the world you're in is dark. And you realize that you was going off, man. And you got to repent and do what the Lord says and prepare yourself for when your shy finally comes and destroys this planet through what he said. And you got the mark of the beast, the big prophecy coming up. You got the nukes and you got the deliverance, man. And it's what they call UFOs. Okay. So uh, pretty much that was that on that scripture, man. Actually, you know what? Let me jump down to 11, no, 10, James 5 and 10. Take my brethren, the prophets, who were spoken in the name of the Lord. So the name of the Lord's important for all the other groups that don't teach that. Okay. Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai Basham Rakakadash for an example of suffering, affliction. So what happens when you come with this truth, man? You suffer what affliction, man? Okay. Meaning the world looks at you different, man. In the spirit, you know, when you was in the world, man, you was getting on with everybody and all that. But then what happens, man? When you come with this truth, spiritually, man, certain just happens. You, you, you get a different look. The scripture says a man shall be known by his look, you know. Them demons are off you now, so people, you know you sensing people, man, and people just ain't taking to you, and they don't mind. They might not even know why, but it's them spirits, man. Everything's spiritual. The spirits around that you you can't see, you know. They got so much demons on them that they they they're vibe, and you know when you go around people, you're like, you know what, man, these people they vibes off, man. I don't want to be around these people. That's real talk, man. When you come into the truth, you really don't even want to be around fucking people, man, because they got demons on them. And they're gonna do, they're gonna end up doing something real negative any damn way, man. Take my brethren, the prophets who have spoken in the name of the Lord, for example, of suffering, affliction, and of patience. So, if, you know, you go out every week, man, that's you putting your body on the line and, and, and things of this nature, you know? So that's, that's what happens, man. See, you, you, people in the world might not understand what you're actually going through in, in your personal walk, in your mind, because they're just having a whale of a time, man. They say ignorance is bliss. So they'll be eating pork, shrimps, and everything, and they they're just enjoying it, man. They're eating G they don't even know they're eating GMO, you know. You, you know, they're like kids just running around in this in this dark world, man, just having fun. But they because their eyes ain't open, you know. It's like it's like when you're a kid, you play little video games, man, and when you become an adult, you ain't sitting there playing fucking video games. That like, you looking at that you know, but that's what that's what they're like. They're still in that that child state, man, and Esau's their dad. Okay, that's what's going on out here. The real fucking talk, blood. Okay. Like, Behold, we count them happy which endure. Ye have heard of the patience of Job and have seen the end of the Lord, that the Lord is very pitiful and of tender mercy. So we know uh, everything that we're doing, that there's going to be reward. And what is what? there's nothing better, bro, than being beamed up into the ships, man, into the Lord's chariots and getting crowned by the Lord. What What else is better than that, bro? And all these niggas that, oh, I don't believe in that. Well, well you don't have to believe in it. You, you're going to get fucked up. That's, a, that's what's going to happen to you. Okay? You, the, the only thing that's going to end up happening to you, bro, is you're going to get destroyed, man. You don't know what's going on around you, man. Look how much of these celebrities are just getting wigged. Every day now, these celebrities are just getting wigged and getting tucked. This world ain't what you think it is, man. It's about time you fools woke your fucking selves up, man. You just simple asses, man. <laughs> All he still has to do is give a nigga a deal or some hope of a deal, and that's his good, man. You know? But up Jake's wicked any damn way, man. Okay? Um, so that's it on that scripture. Uh, let me jump to the uh, next scripture, man. Let me go and get the next. Um, James 5, Psalm 73, uh, Psalms 147. So like I said, you see these devils sitting there. They they they, they gotta pay, man. <laughs> They're getting ready to pay right soon. And and you know what, man? You know the apostles have been apostles have been saying that he sees, you know, things going down 
in this 2019, man. And you know what, bro? That makes fucking sense. Okay? That makes a lot of fucking sense, man. Matter of fact, bear with me one second. Give me, give me a, 10 seconds, one second. I just had to, uh, just had to do something right quick. So, right. So the next book I'm gonna uh, hit is um, Psalms um, 147. And like I said, man, I we can see that a lot is gonna start happening, man. And that probably be if I do another video, it might be on, it might be on things, you know, these prophecies, because these prophecies are speaking. There's a lot going down, bro. There's a lot fucking going down, man. Uh, that's not what I want. Um, Right, this is what I want. Psalms 149. So it says, Praise ye the Lord, sing unto the Lord Yahweh a new song, and praise in the congregation of the saints. Let Israel rejoice in him that made him, let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. And see, we're, our fingers, we're getting turned back to the Heavenly Father, man. Most of these people out here, when do you ever hear people talking about the Mosiah or anything, man? People don't live and think about the Heavenly Father. People are just doing what the hell they want out here, man. And that's why they're going to get done. You know, you, you didn't make yourself, man. You, you live in this experience on the earth and you don't even know why your ass is here. You got to give all praises to the Lord, man. You got to be thankful, man. You don't know why you're breathing. You don't know what, you know, you just get up, you know. You, this is real, man. Life's real, man. The spirit world's real. Everything, that's all real. When you die, you go to before the heavenly father himself. And you before the throne and you get judged, you know. You know, you find out what's really going on. So you better get it. You you better you better you get better get it right, man. Because a lot of people walking around now, they don't know that they're getting ready to get nuked and all that and get destroyed, man. They, there's death angels, you know. They got them lined up, man. That's how real this truth is, bro. That's how real life is, man. Okay. It says, uh, "Let Israel rejoice in Him that made Him. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their King." Let them praise his name in the dance. Let them sing praises unto him with the timbrel and the harp. And the Edomites ain't got that spirit, man. You saw Edomites don't be, you know, first of all, man, <laughs> you know, you saw this ain't got that spirit about praising the Lord in the dance, man. <laughs> you know, he ain't, he ain't got that spirit, man. Like when King David uh, and King Saul, they went out killing, you know, the, the when they came back, man, the Israelite women were singing uh, I think it was Saul killed his thousands and David King killed his, 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 his tens of thousands. So that's Israel's spirit, man. These fucking devils. Are you serious, bro? These stiff devils. They ain't got no spirit on them. They ain't got no spirit on them to be singing no psalms, man. Then you're going to, like, you go over there to the land of Israel and you look at them them rats over there. Are you serious, bro? Are you fucking, look at them. Look at this. Look at them guys, man. All wearing them top hats, <laughs> you know, you know, looking like fucking, what is it, top cat and all that. <laughs> you remember top cat, he came out of the trash cans and all that shit, you know. And they got them black, they actually look like the penguin from fucking Batman, man. With them dark suits on and all that. I mean, come on. How are you going to call yourself the people of the Lord? And you're all in business suits, man. Dirty ass suits with, with a fucking top hat on, man. Give me a break, bro. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, uh, Psalms 1, 4, 9 and 4. For the Lord taketh pleasure in his people. He will beautify the meek with salvation. That proves that ain't them because they're not beautified over there. They're warring over there. Their land, the land looks dusty as hell. You think the kingdom, you think in the kingdom it's going to look like that? All you got to do is read revelations, man. The place is going to be made out of gold, man. And precious stones. The gates are going to be made out of gold. Our women are going to be looking beautiful, man. You know, our men are going to be healthy and strong. You know, every every gate's just going to be in, in, in order, man. And that's why the Lord's been giving different brothers and Akiam and visions of the kingdom. Because we're getting ready to inherit that, man. And like I said, all these scoffers and scorners, man. <laughs> what does it, what the hell does a scoffer and a scorner know, bro? You don't know nothing, man. You, you, you're a low life. You go, you're going you're gonna to waste your time. We do a live stream over on a, you're gonna waste your time coming on a video to talk shit. You, you, you're a low life, bro. Straight up, bro. Straight up, straight up low life, mate. Okay. It says, let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Okay. Let the high praises 
let the high praises of the Most High be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand. Because when we, we, you know, when the Lord raises us up, the Lord's going to give us spiritual powers, man. And we're going to go around the world gathering up all these other nations and putting them in cap captivity. And there's proof of that in Daniel's, proof of that in uh, Revelation 2.25. And that's what's going to happen to these heathens. Because the scripture says the kingdom shall not be left to other people. What the hell does that mean, man? <laughs> that means no one out there. It's only going to be the Israelites ruling, man. You think that these devils, these rough childs, man, they're going into captivity, man. It says to execute vengeance upon the heathen. There it is. And punishment upon the people. To bind their kings with chains. Who are their kings? Rothschilds, Rockefellers, man. And their nobles with fetters of iron. So this dude right here, sitting up there eating good, fishing, you know, owning lands and stuff like that. What do you think is getting ready to happen to his ass? His ass is getting ready to go straight up into hardcore fucking bondage. That's exactly where he's going, man. An order of the Queen, Queen Lizzie and all that, Trump. And all these Edomites, they're all going into captivity, man. Them, them dusters, you know, like, uh, you know, Wilder would say, them, you British dulcer. So, <laughs> yeah, them, them dulcers in, um, <laughs> them dusters in, uh, in Parliament, man. Them weird ass looking motherfuckers. They, they're gonna, where do you think, they, what do you think's gonna happen to them, mate? They're going into captivity too. Them, them dulcers. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Hey man, you know what? <laughs> um, uh, Psalms one hundred forty nine, and um, uh, and nine. It says to execute upon them the judgment written. So this this judgment's already been written. Well, it's beautiful that we're in a time where this is gonna play out, man. And how do how do we know it's playing out? All you gotta do is look at the signs. There shall be uprisings of the people. You know, there's uh, uh, protests. You know, the mark of the beast is there, it's out. You know, these are these are all the signs. Also, you know, a spiritual man would know, would, like the Bible says, be occupied in prophecy. So as we see, as we know what's going on, we see what we see them signs, bro. You know, and them signs are speaking, man. Now, if you, you want to keep your dumb, twinky ass fucking asleep, man, and you don't want to see these signs, <laughs> but that's on you, bruv. Okay, that's straight up on you, mate. You dust, your doses. <laughs> Sorry, man, I just have to fucking, um, you know, throw a bit of jokes in there because um, sometimes you get pissed off, you know. So you got to kind of balance that with a bit of fucking humour, man. Okay, it says, To execute upon them the judgment written, this honour have all his saints. Praise ye the, praise ye the Lord. So what what is that honour? Is part of that honour is is, 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 uh, is going to be able, is getting these devils and um, uh, uh, putting them in the in, in where they belong. Where the where did that where did they belong, man? They're peasants, man. They belong in the in the, in the pits. Okay, straight up, man. Yeah, can't uh, Ecclesiastes seven and seven. Surely oppression makes a wise man mad. So should so so should Israel be mad? Yeah. You should be looking at these devils like, look, man. You know what, man? We're be, we're oppressed, man. You should be you should be awake, man, not asleep. You know, you shouldn't have that fucking Radio Rahim spirit on you, man. You say that, oh, um, so what do you mean by 400 years? And, uh, you know, <laughs> the hell you think I mean, man? You fucking devil, man. Anyway, well, he's a black devil. Uh, anyway, uh, what are we going to get? Isaiah, the 24th chapter. Um, Isaiah, 24. <clears throat> So this is what so this is what we're supposed to be doing, man. We're supposed to be doing these shows, and and, and doing this work, man. Because if if no one was, you see, you got you had, you got maniacs out there that say you don't have to go on the streets, man. You had these different Israelites that fell out, and all of a sudden they say, oh, you don't you don't have to go out on the streets. I know if Patak said that, or one of them them dudes that fell out that was used to be in Chicago camp and all that, and some other dudes, man. Oh, you've had these different dudes, or you don't have to go out on the streets. Or well, how 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 are we going how is Israel going to wake up? <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, all these people wouldn't have woke up if no one went out. If no one didn't go on the streets, no one would have woke up, man. Everyone would still be niggas out there. They're at their mama's house talking shit, smoking weed, eating fucking Twinkies and that, bro. All traumatized, acting like a hoe, acting like a bitch. That's how, that's how we would have been acting, man. That's just real talk. You bet you don't have to go out on the streets, man. You crazy, bro? Anyway, man. <laughs> Lord, and anyone that says that, the Lord's not dealing with them, man. 
And the new thing now is that, oh, the mark of the beast is not the RFID. That's like the new thing now. So these, you, you got people that are basically going to get fucking chipped. I mean, are you, you seriously, are you serious that you're going to make Esau put a fucking needle in the middle of your head and p implant a chip in the fucking middle of your brain, bro, in your skull? You idiots, man. Crazy, man. Anyway. Um, that's right, um, Proverbs, uh, Proverbs 1 and 20. Wisdom cry for vows. She uttereth her voice in the streets. So that's, that's where... You know, that's where it's at, you know, in the, in, the, in the streets, man. You know, straight up, straight up. Okay, um, right, so let me go into this Isaiah. Um, this is the book of uh, uh, Isaiah uh, 24, 1. It says, Behold, the Lord maketh the earth empty, and maketh it waste, and turneth it upside down, and scattereth abroad the inhabitants thereof. Because the whole earth, man, the people are wicked out here, man. And if and, and and you know pretty much man the, the majority of the people on the planet are fucking wicked, okay, point blank period man. So that's why we're in a, like it's like the, in the days of Noah. So the Lord's gonna do a big clean up style, uh, takeover of the planet, and that's what those uh, movies about like uh, 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 the, uh, uh, like the Thanos movie, you know Thanos was pretty much trying to reset you know the planet to. Really to righteousness, man. Because at the end of the movie, you see him sitting in a green field. That represents Israel, man. Zion, because that's what we're going to go back to. Green and stuff like that. Okay. It says, and it shall be as with the people. So with the... Uh, you know what? Let me skip down. Let me skip down. No, I'll, I'll read it. It shall be as with the people. So with the, pr so with the priest, as with the servant. So with his master, as with the maid. So with her mistress, as with the buyer. So with the seller as with the lender, so with the borrower as with the taker of usury, so with the giver of usury to him. Because pretty much all these people are going to get jacked up, man. So your job title in that day is not going to really matter. It don't matter who you are. You know, these people, like, that's what you got. It don't matter. You, you see, in this world, your job title counts. Oh, I'm an accountant. So um, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a doctor and all of this, you know. You know, so, but, but in that day, that's not going to mean nothing, you know. It says, the land shall be utterly emptied and spoil, utterly spoiled for the Lord has spoken this word. The earth mourneth and fadeth away. The world languish and fadeth away. The haughty people of the earth do languish, you know. So, and, and that's proud, the haughty are proud, man. So, you know, you, you got these, you know, you got this whole uh, Snapchat, Instagram bullshit with people. You got these. You go in there, you got all these women taking pictures of them of their bodies and getting butt implants. They all gonna get fucking fucked up, man. Them people are crazy, man. You know, but they you know, basically they want to be worshipped as, as gods, man. These people, they, they the scripture says that people be lovers of themselves. They want to be worshipped as gods. People get off and they get a, a thousand, two thousand, three thousand likes. You know, the people get off on that, man. You know, it makes them feel like they're gods, man. You know? But, you know, it's not about making it in this world, man. When you, you know, when you get your money, man, it's really about helping the brothers. And, and you, you, what does the scripture say, man? Daily bread. So we, we're, just, we're just going through in this world, man. We're not trying to, you know, stake a claim, man. Okay. Uh, it says, uh, what did I just read? Um, right, it says, uh, Isaiah 24 and 5. Uh, the earth also is defiled under the inhabitants of rough. Because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, and broken the everlasting covenant. So here, this fucking devil, okay, in this article, let me go back to the fucking article, man. Go back to this fucking article. <laughs> yeah, now, nah, you know, I'm using certain words, man, but I'm just, that's just how I feel right now, man. Real talk, man. So here it is, this dude's talking about uh, that he's. I have always been fascinated, first and foremost, by health and the concept that you are what you eat. And this is Rothschild speaking. Here he's saying all this. When he's the one fucking up the earth, they're the ones who've changed the ordinances and got people GMO foods, the 5G, the fucking, you can't sleep at night, man. You know, fucking, all this bullshit, man. You know, all this fucking bullshit out here. They're the ones doing it, man. No fucking talk. So these, these, are, these are hypocrites, man. That's what the Bible says. Basically, they're serpents, man. They've got these tongues of serpents. They say one thing and it means something else, man. 
They're deadly bastards. Okay, that's why the law is going to take them out. Um, right, he says, well, I, as I became more involved in organic farming, I naturally became more curious about the environment as a whole. Dude, you guys, you, you guys are supposed to be. What do you mean, man? You, you dudes are supposed to be protecting the environment. But that's like we said, that that's that's not what they were created to do. They the they're the red horse when you read Revelations. That power was given to them to take to um, take peace from the earth. So who's that? Esau, Edom's, Rothschilds, Rockefellers, man. Okay. These fuck wait. This these, these dudes here. Yeah. Fucking hell, I didn't want that shit like that to happen, man. But hey, but yeah, so these dudes fucking here, yeah, man. Okay. This fucking nut job right here. Okay. Rothschild's fucking Rockefellers, man. Alright, let me go back to, uh. Go back to, yeah. Um. So, it says. Isaiah 25 and um, 24 and uh, 5. The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof, because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. Therefore have the curse devoured the earth, and they that dwell therein are desolate. Therefore the inhabitants of the earth are burned, and few men left. Because that's pretty much the judgment that the Lord's got for this planet and for the wickedness that's going on on the planet, man. Okay, so that's pretty much what that is, man. All right, now I had a few other scriptures on the list, but you know, I'll probably leave it to another lesson. And um, pretty much, probably what I'm going to do is uh, go in the spirit and see what else, um, see what else I can I can get 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 done because uh, I pretty much covered this. But like I said, man, that was the point that these devils, these rough Charles Rockefellers, man. It's, it's their time to, to, to go down and it's our time to go up, man. You know? And and that's just pretty much, that's point blank what it is. So, you know, all you got to do, man, is just stay in this work, keep pushing this word, and watch out for these signs. Because as we speak, man, this everything, you know, these prophecies are speaking. A lot of things are happening as we speak on the planet that are alluding to this, what mark of the beast, World War Three, and us getting the fuck out of here, man. You know, pretty much that's that's what's going on. So, you know, you, you might, you know, you get, you know, the, you know, the demons out there trying to play because we're pushing this truth. So, you know, you just got to stay in the spirit, man. And that's why a lot of people come up and trying to come up against the word, because that's what happens when you're teaching that word. The demons try and come out to play, you know, but the, 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 the men of the Lord, man, they ain't going to they ain't going to stop, man. OK. So that's that's pretty much. That's pretty much it. So, uh, you know, shalom to um, everybody that, you know, pretty much watched the show. Uh, you know, stay up, you know, pray, you know, to your whole Basham, your whole Shai, Basham, Rekha, Dash, man. And, you know, we're, we're pretty much out of here, man, you know. So, you know, you know, keep pushing, man. Stay strong, you know. Um, so with that, I'll catch you on the next one. And then shalom to all you brothers and sisters, man. All right. Shalom.